Vintage clothing has become a Tinseltown obsession with everyone from Madonna to Jennifer Garner splurging on designer pieces from the past. We recently stopped by the paperback princess in Los Angeles to find out about this growing trend and to seek a lucky few get their prized possessions appraised. Nothing celebrates originality on the red carpet quite like a vintage gown. Hollywood starlets have embraced secondhand designs for their ability to make a one of a kind fashion statement, captivating crowds and fashion critics alike. Designers of today still look to the past for inspiration, trying to capture the detailing and craftsmanship that is so rare in contemporary fashion. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. Elizabeth Mason, owner of the famous paper bag princess in L.A., opened her doors in 1995 and struck gold with her passion for vintage couture. Everyone from Nicole Kidman to Sarah Jessica Parker have dazzled in her fabulous finds. Mason understands the power of vintage for a red carpet walk. Coming out in something really unusual or really striking, they're almost guaranteed to, to get that picture in the magazine. You're guaranteed to set yourself apart from the crowd and express your own individuality. From Jennifer Aniston's Halston Stunner to Julia Roberts' Jean Jourbon Paris Oscar dress, the paper bag princess has become the go-to spot for every big night in Hollywood. But celebs aren't the only ones who have dabbled in vintage. People worldwide have held on to or purchased clothing from the past for its unique qualities and a sense of nostalgia. I wish I could bottle this giggle that comes out of a woman when she looks at herself in the mirror in a fabulous dress because she's imagining a time period. It's a very romantic thing. Maybe she was remembering her grandmother or her mom or, or a movie star. This summer, Mason partnered up with the fashion group International Foundation for the Vintage Couture Roadshow, inviting the public in for free appraisals of their treasured possessions. So what does this queen of old couture look for? Something that would qualify a piece as being valuable would be construction, quality and construction, craftsmanship, if it's got a very unique uh, style design to it and the designer labels that bring in big money for vintage collectors. Gucci has always held its value. Givenchy or Dior and Valentino, you would have a strong market in those pieces. I found this in my grandmother's closets. And okay. We found a pillowcase over this Christian Dior dress and it looks like it was an original tag. It looks really incredible. I have to have a little look inside to see. Ah, there's the label right there. Right away I know that this is a couture piece. This woman's divine dress was appraised for much more than she ever imagined. It appraised for, you know, over $8,000 and, um, and it's just so amazing. But this collector wasn't so lucky. You can tell right away that there isn't any age on this. Your dead giveaway is the fact that you bought it for $150 and you got two pieces for that kind of price with such an important name as this. The likelihood of you snagging it for only $150 and getting an original from the 60s are very rare. Whether vintage fashion is something you spend a lifetime collecting or something you pick out for a special occasion, one thing is for sure, it screams individuality. For those of you wanting to get something appraised or want to find out more about vintage clothing, just log on to paperbackprincess.com. Sharon?